starts happening, if I might have your support in uh, maybe uh, helping the town by uh, bringing law and order to this place. There oh. would be no ch there would be no charge, but we would take care of these uh, these uh, the brigands that are nice. causing problems. No way, I'm not sure. a chance in hell, Sanford. Oh, uh, that would be great, but uh, you know we we do have a uh, we do have a leader of Vandalin. Uh, his name is Harbin Wester. Uh, but it seems like a well, he is sort of. I hate to be so rude, but she says she puts her hand up to her mouth and she says, "He's a fat, pompous old fool, and he is completely intimidated by these red brands, and he claims that they're just a mercenary guild and not all that much trouble, really. And I don't believe him one bit. So I I know that uh, because I I go into the inn and. I sometimes I, I like to unwind after you know a, a long day and uh, I hear the other merchants talking and then these they're shaking up they uh, they definitely need to be taken care of and they hang out down at the sleeping giant tap house and they actually have a base under the manor that's in the the very eastern part of town I, I heard that they have a, a, a large complex. I, I don't know how many total there are, but uh, you know what? To hell with it. I'll even pay you 100 gold to eliminate all these bastards out of Phandalin. There you go. I said it. And I feel good about it. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, I will talk with my other companions, and uh, I'm sure that we will do something to help you out. Uh, my uh, parents were the Count and Countess of uh, Coral and Hill, and uh, after that was destroyed, I'm looking for a new place to where I can I can help the people, for I feel it's my duty to help them. Well, when you take those guys out, if you can, and God, I hope you can, can you please get me any kind of correspondence or documents that their leader, Glassstaff, has? because I am curious as to know what they are doing. Oh, I'm not hiding anything, Wally. I just wanted a green screen up there. A lot of people were asking if I'd ever have one, so I said, what the hell, I'll get one. Oh, I'm sure that can so be I have one. arranged, no problem. You just see a window behind me. There's a window, that's about it. And it Is sheds a lot of light. That's why. That's why I, I have should this. Be talking to, uh, you know, maybe. Uh, I know that to, to get their uh, approval on this. Or? Over at the Stonehill Inn, I I know that, um, I know that he was having a problem over at the Stonehill Inn. I'm not sure about really anyone else, uh, but you might want to check over there. But I know that they have, they have a actually. I believe the the inn's son Pip. I believe Pip found their found the hideout, and that's well, that's actually how. But you can't you can't involve them though at the Stonehill Inn. They're they're a good people, and you, you just can't you can't involve uh, involve Toblin and his wife Trelina and and Pip his son because uh, they've already. Oh, I'll tell you this too. This is why I want him dead. They actually they've already killed someone here in town. There was a there was a, a wood crafter and he was starting to fight against the the red brands and he didn't want their protection. So he said that he didn't need it. Big anyway, big scene happened. He was killed in front of his family, in front of his child and his wife. And now, we haven't seen... We, we don't know if they left. They were from Baldur's Gate. We don't know if they went back to Baldur's Gate. We don't know if they're alive or if they're dead. So, I mean, I, I'm, I just worry. I don't want that to happen to uh, to the good family at the Stonehill Inn. Because that, that is basically the backbone of our town. Well, I, I promise you this. No one will be involved. will know that... Uh anyone from the town is involved we will take care of it mm, well just just remember what, what 
when you go into that, if you go into the manor, make sure that you find any documents and, and uh, that, that bastard glass staff, find out what he's up to and, and get back with me and bring me back that correspondence and I will give you 100 gold pieces for the reward. And that is, that is a lot of money. That is months of, of work for me. All right, so that's it for you guys. I guess where are you guys are gonna head back to? I'm gonna head back to the Stone Hill. Yeah. Okay, so do you, do you three that are there? Do you guys want to RP that out real quick, and then we'll go to Kadojo? Uh, yeah. Um, I guess. Uh, not not you. You're I'm at the end. I'm the talking end. about. Yeah. talking about Jambin. Oh, I thought you meant them showing up. Yeah, in the, end. the three. Yeah, the three back at the uh, at the Lion Shield. Coster. So I, am I to assume that we're standing nice, outside uh, the, the uh, Lion's Shield Coster waiting for him to come out? Well, you guys are still there. I mean, are you guys, do you guys all agree to go back to the, uh, do you guys all agree to go back to the inn or, or what? Yeah, I, well, I go out and I talk to him. I said, okay, guys, um, you know, you know, we're going to go to the inn, uh, talk to a still, Stildar or, you know, see what else the other guys are doing or, um, is there anything else we might need here? Thank you to the moderator. I think I'm actually going to go over to Barthens Provisions first. Make sure you guys bid on that raffle that raffle prize tonight. I, it is a I would token pack. I say go to the inn, but... Well, I'm going to... Uh, on the way to the Barthens Provisions, I'll just go ahead and stop in at the end and uh, and find our our rogue friend. Okay. Okay. Well, Kadoja is still at the shrine, so... All right. I'm, so you guys get back to the Lion Coaster. Uh, you, I'm sorry. You guys leave the Lion Shield Coaster. You get back to the Stonehill Inn. And now, Kadojo, what are you doing? The caboose. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm going to the Shrine of Luck to look for Sister Garo. God, how do you say your name? Gariel. Garelle. Sort of like, sort of like Grail, but the French pronun French pronunciation Garelle. is Garel. Mm. So I go over to the shrine to look for her. Okay. So you find her. She's uh, she's still praying. She's on her knees up at the up at the altar, and she does hear you come in. So she finishes her prayer. You wait. You have to wait a couple minutes, and she stands up. She kind of bows to you and comes over and and uh, says, "Ah, oh, it's nice to see you again." She goes, how has your stay in Fandolin been? And what is your name, by the way? My name is Varys. Varys. Well, it's very nice to meet you, Varys. I am Sister Garel. I she came appears back. to be the scholarly, scholarly type as well. She, very well-groomed, very proper, a, a very proper type of walk, you know, very proper type of hand gestures and everything. And what kind of what, what race is she? Uh, she is a she's a human. Okay. Default human always. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> so I go up to her. And ask her. Actually, she's a. Have we rolled for her hotness yet? She's an elf. Actually, she's an elf. I'm sorry. Elf. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead and do that roll, man. Give me the hotness check. No, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. She, yeah, that's not. That's we need one from Kadojo. Come on, Kadojo. She, she's average looking. She's pretty cute though. She's got the uh, the girl next door type of look. You know, she's very proper and everything. Still okay. attractive. Okay, so I, I guess I ask her if she has any more thoughts about how she might be able to help me with the shrine, whether she knows the location of the Cragmaw Castle, or maybe she can help me help me learn how to cleanse a shrine. Mm. The castle. I, I don't know where the castle is, but you're talking... You, you were talking about you had visions last time, if, if my memory serves me correctly, right? Correct. And and what did these visions entail again? They showed a ancient ruin called Cragmaw Castle, where they have defiled a shrine to my god, o Oakma. 
Is that how I say it? Ogma? Ogma? Ogma. And now it's dedicated to a vile goblin god, god named Maglu... Maculip? Maculipit? Maculit? I have no idea how to say that name. Mikulitit? Dirt, can you say Karavikus again? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Karavikus. But a vile goblin god, and the altar is an offense to my god that must not stand. Hmm. Well, I, I, I do not know of this Cragmall Castle, but if your visions are true, I've, I've had these visions as well, and it is not good when I have these visions. And she also goes into talking about. If you do find this, if you do find this this altar, can you please, you know, basically consecrate it and raise it back to its former, you know, presence of of the deity of Agma, uh, because that 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 could ease the the visions that that you're having, and sometimes she'll have a vision as well. But then she goes to tell you that. Uh, uh, you do seem like a pretty trustworthy gentleman. And there's something that, seeing that you are part, you've, you've done schooling in the church uh, for your magic. Because she would know that, because, you know, you do look like a mage. It's, it's pretty obvious. You're in a robe and everything. And she has told you that there's a, there's a matter of business that, that she needs taken care of. But there, there's not many adventurers in this part of the, you know, of this part of, of the area. I mean, uh, there's she tells you that there's miners starting to come into Fandolin and 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 a few adventurers, but uh, they don't they don't really come into the temple seeking any kind of spiritual guidance or any kind of sp you know spiritual favor um, from the gods like Tamora and and Corlin and so she tells you that recently that her superiors have asked her to undertake a delicate mission and what she tells you that she was sent uh, to find and persuade a uh, an undead banshee and this banshee's name is Agatha and what she's supposed to ask this this banshee named Agatha is she needs to find the location of a spell book belonging to a legendary mage named Bo Gentle. And she believes that she had actually went to this place. She actually tried to summon the Banshee. She never got any response. Uh, she was wearing her, you know, her, her symbols, her all of her, the flavors of her deity, and she thinks that that might have had something to do with it. So maybe if somebody that doesn't have an appearance of faith would go to this location, that maybe that she could divulge the information on where this lost legendary spellbook is. You know, of this, of this legendary mage named Bow Gentle. And she she really believes that somebody could probably do that and get the vanity from Agatha, the, and possibly, you know, get the information. And she also has something that she wants to offer to this banshee as well, which is a a, a silver comb. And she offers that she can pay if you would like to try to to undertake a you know something like this. Uh, she can offer some potions to aid you on your adventure and she could also offer a little bit but the coffers you know within uh within the actual shrine of luck there there there's not a fo a lot of followers so she really can't offer too much but she said she can offer you some she can't give you a set amount but she can offer you us uh, you know things around the church she can offer you some some holy water she can offer several healing potions that she has made as well I tell her that um, 
I can do this for her, but I will not accept any money for this, but instead be allowed to look inside this ancient mage spell book and be allowed to copy down a few spells for myself. And that I would take only only one or two health potions when I return. And that well, I, I, I think he's got anybody. meteor strike in this spell book. I'm just kidding, Woo-hoo! dude. I'm just totally playing. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh joy, oh joy, oh joy. So, she tells you that she can have some things ready for you, and she and she definitely appreciates you not wanting any monetary payment. Uh, but she can help you, and she could also help you with, you know, if you ever have any, if you're in Phandalin, uh, you if you ever need any kind of curing or any kind of healing from ailments that she will always take care of you in, in that regard and then she will also uh, put together some kind of, of care package for you as well and you know she does she does hand over uh, the silver comb to you and there it's just a plain silver comb there's no gems embedded into it or, or anything it's just a, a very nice Silver coin. I, I she tells you, one other thing she tells you that uh, there's really there's no rush on this, uh, but she does ask you uh, if you're going to be staying in town for a while, and you know if if also there is there a way to contact you in case anything has changed. I probably will stay in town, but should you need to contact me, you can reach hopefully reach me over at Stonehill Inn. Wally J, thank you very much for the for the nice comment. I I truly if appreciate need, that. If you need me, and yes. Dave, I, I I will definitely can send one of the other priests over to find you, or I can come over to find you if if anything changes. All right, very well. We may be going out again soon to try and find Cragmaw Castle, but mm. I have must re reunite with my fellow adventurers to find out what is our next step. Okay. Well, uh, she tells you that the one, the last thing that she's going to tell you is that this banshee is in a in a small ruined town by the name of Coneyberry, and Coneyberry was a was actually a, a small beautiful town that years ago uh, barbarians sacked it, and now it's 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 in ruins, and. She actually pulls out her map of, of the area. And let me open up this, this map as well, and I'll just kind of show you right now. I'm sorry, but can you repeat the name of that town again? Coneyberry. Coneyberry. As, oh, as I don't you, know your name. See, as you can, as you can see on the map... Uh, one quick second, sorry about that. I need to, here's the, the map of uh, Neverwinter area. And as you can see... Uh, you're here in uh, Fandolin here, which is sort of like in the middle lower part of the map. You can see that uh, up to the oh, north. Oh, I see it. Yeah, yeah. along the, the, the trail, uh, there's Coneyberry. Yeah, and then yeah. there's a, a small lair that's sort of to the to the west. And she, you know, she tells you that uh, she thinks that the spirit didn't want to contact her because of her spiritual presence when when she you know showed up in full cleric regalia and symbols and you know the maybe the banshee thought that you know she was trying to attack the undead because you know undead don't like priests they don't like clerics they don't like you know people of faith so you know they, well, they try know to one steer guy. clear from for the first you know for the most part well no one guy can bring with me amen <laughs> Spouse, <laughs> far from yeah. religious as you can get. <laughs> yeah. Wally, issues. Wally J, 1980. Yes, thank do. you for the follow. The Frey Cook, 14. So, okay. We know. Then I take Zellian, out, 86. Take out, thank you for the follows, out, guys. Zellian, three gold coins and Chef Cook. Give it over Wally, to her. Thank you, guys. Well, she definitely appreciates it, and if you can bring her back, if you can bring her back the spell book, that would even be be better yet or if you can bring her the location of the spell book that would that would definitely be great as she thanks you and uh, she she hopes you that uh, your stay here and and Fandolin is is delightful and if you ever need anything please stop by the temple and 
and the seer. Okay. So, I bow to her, thank her, and just go ahead and leave. Okay. So, what are you gonna do now? Are you heading back to uh? Are you heading back to the inn as well, or? Yeah. I guess I'll head back to the inn. Okay. So, the day is. It's really gone by kind of fast, actually. So it's starting to become, I would say, late afternoon, just to where the sun is is just now probably starting to set. And it, it'll probably be dark here in uh, probably the next uh, 30, 45 minutes to an hour. So you guys are all back at the... You guys have, have all ventured around all day, checking out Stonehill. I mean, checking out Phandalin. And you guys, your first impression of, of Phandalin, I know you guys stopped by originally, and, you know, you went over to Barthens to turn in the, the the wagon and the provisions that you had to turn in for the, you know, the escort reward. But this place is actually pretty nice. It's, it's kind of homely. And, you know, there's a bard sitting over in a corner playing a lute. You know, he'll... he'll sing a song with his lute and then he he'll pull he'll pull out like a like a flute or a recorder type of instrument and sort of like a woodwind clarinet and then he'll play a song like that an instrumental and but the mood is definitely nice inside of the uh inside of the inn inside of the stonehill inn when i notice that they uh they enter the inn uh i slink away from my dark hiding spot and go around the edge of the walls around a couple of the other tables uh, as not to draw attention to my newly oh, I, I don't have a subscription button corner. just follow the channel and, uh, that's, that's really nice of you I as they come it. in I walk up to them and uh, tell them that uh, I have learned some things and we need to chat I have secured us some rooms. I suggest we we go up and uh, settle and uh, talk a little bit. And then I look over at Toblin and I asked him if he could bring us uh, some dinner for all of us up to our rooms. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then uh, I just turn and tell him and uh, just motion to him and Walk up and I guess what is it upstairs the rooms or it is, just yeah, downstairs? It is. Yeah. You've got five, you've and got six. five and six. And as you guys are starting to make your way up, he's he says his wife Shank is the best in Fandolin. He says it's to die for. I am most uh -huh. confident that it is. So, thank you very much for the kind words, though. Anyway, Wally. it's really um, nice of you. No shenanigans. No bullshit. Mikey, take it no easy. Thank you for hanging around. around. Just walk up. Don't say anything else. Bucky, thank you for the nice words. I appreciate it. Man, you guys are okay. great, man. Bucky O'Hare, thanks for the follow. That is the new viewer name of the night. Bucky O'Hare, I love it. Uh, bring thank you for the follow, sir. Uh, room five, and uh, pull out the key and unlock the door and invite them in. All right, so you guys have have two rooms, five and six, and as you get into these two rooms, you notice that there's a door in the middle on, well, actually, it conjoins the two rooms together, which is even nicer yet, because you guys don't even have to leave the outer doors to congregate with one another, and, you know, you get into the room, it's a, it smells really nice, it smells like uh, berries and fruits, and, and Pip really did a good job for you. I mean, his old man said that he would take care of it. There's nice linen on the beds. There's a total of six beds between the two rooms. And there's, uh, you know, several pitchers of, of ale, several bottles of wine. Looks like he's really taking care of you guys. You guys are really being shown uh, Fandolin hospitality, hospitality at its finest. Awesome. I must say, this is... Uh best looking inn I've ever been in in uh, my times. <laughs> Better than probably Neverwinter. Moonstone Mass Tavern is a shithole. And right as he, <laughs> I'm just uh, kidding. Right as he finishes that I close the door and um, as everybody's kind of milling around I say I've got somebody to kill in this town. Oh really? Then, who do you have to kill in this town? 
Uh, this um, this town used to be my home. I'll say what I used to live here. The guys in the group tonight ago. are role playing their a asses off. Ago, and I'm so happy about that. I'm so proud of, of them. I'm a a static group. Uh, not exactly on the proper side of the law, but Been so nothing fun tonight. terrible. Uh, nothing so terrible. Of, you're a rogue. What's the name of this group? Red Brands. And guess who's in town starting to shake everybody down? My old group. And the reason why it's my old group is because their leader glad what is it? Gladstaff? Glass staff. Glass staff. tried to have me killed. I did and because Zovia. of it. I was shunned from With this town noodles. and had to and run you from are life. next, Zovia. You're definitely next. I'm not a happy camper. <laughs> That's the way that he is in town. <laughs> and I whatever we do, whether you help me or not, I do not care. I am going to kill him. Well, this I seems was like just a worthy offered by the uh, the uh, proprietor of the. Lion Shield Coister to uh, get rid of the red brand and uh, glass staff and receive a hundred gold piece reward for our efforts. I don't care about the gold. I want the last breath and the last couple drops of his blood on my blade. I want to stand over him as his eyes go dark. Okay, we okay. won't split the gold with you then. <laughs> Don't give a shit. Dosk ass, thank you for the follow, Dosk. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. As he goes into Welcome to our community. Again. That's that. I don't care about anything else. Mm. Promise me I get killing blow. I mean, we'll, we'll see. Do, we will do what we can to grant that wish. Okay, while I uh, had lunch, I met the Toblin and his wife here at the Stone Hill, and he filled me in on what was going on, and apparently you've got the same information as I do. The Red Brands are in town, and they're shaking everybody down, and they're basically trying to destroy the place. They're trying to run it. And I was given information on where their hideout may be. I uh, yes. Minority. It's, um, Take it easy, sir. What is it? Good seeing you, uh, They're at the Sleeping Giant, actually, aren't they? No, actually, it's to a, in a, beneath the manor to the east. You guys are both right. Now, first off, uh, sorry to butt in, to interject here. Yes, they do hang out at the competition to the Stonehill Inn, which is the Sleeping Giant. Yes, that's where they congregate, that's where they hide. But you, Sandman, you found out that they actually have a hideout under the manor. You did not find that out, Eamon. You just knew that they were at the Sleeping Giant Inn. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, that's no problem. Um, and past what we used to do when I was running with them, which was basically just minor hooliganism and a little bit of shakedowns here and there, they've actually graduated to murder. So, I... Good day, mate! Have, um, uh, I, I hope that Tobin was right. Nope, has it's not. Sorry, all To allow us to... <sighs> remain quiet in this inn uh, if we um, if we try to help the city and I actually have a contact that I'm hoping is still here in town when I left um, a friend of mine named Hala was here and she she was looking to get out about the same time I was, and I'm hoping that maybe I can find her, and I'm hoping that she's still there, and I'm hoping maybe, if she is, that she'll know some some more information. So, I'm not sure what uh, what our next move is, but um, I think uh, I think we should, 
should actually talk with uh, 